didn't have a very long connection. It was about an hour and a half, uh, but the terminal has not got a lot to do here anyway. So I'm about to in Colombo. This is the lovely bed behind me and it is 4am here. The guys picked me up. It was about a 20 minute drive from the airport. They seem really nice and knowledgeable and I'm excited to explore. So I'm going to try to sleep a little bit and then my cousin Mitsa is arriving in a few hours as well. So we'll probably go pick her up. My soul, you've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. So we just picked up my cousin, and today I think it's just going to be pretty chill today. So. Relaxing in the evening, we're going to the food market, I believe. So, we'll probably walk around here, just chill by the pool, have a relaxing day. What do we do to love? 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 When everything's said and done. Beach, which is part of a hotel here, and it's so beautiful, it's so wide and sandy and full of palm trees. It's But on the street it's like this, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh it's like gravy, but made out of a coconut coconut milk come out from the fish. And we mix usually with this stuff on a plate and we eat this and this is no hot at all. But usually we try this with it's like this with a different story. I'll tell you. Looks like this is like alcohol. Come on, help me. Help him. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Some sort of flower. Wow. Right? Once again, this is like a different. This is sambal. Like this, this is. Yeah. Mix up for five or six different type of vegetables, they make this gravy. So this is. We, uh, chopped into small pieces in a plate. We put this and we add this, this little type of gravy. We take a piece. This is not rice flour. And like that. Some sambal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These are called lintul. These are the ones that mix with the curry leaves and a little amount of uh, onion and also salt oh. and then there. all this paste like a mixture. Then the deep fry, deep, deep fry. Yeah. And this is come from a different flour. Yeah. It's a millet flour. It's not the millet it's actually, but it's, it's not the rice flour. Yeah. This is uh, oh, quite little. It's crunchy. It's not hot. It's like 
little snack, like a bite while you're having a beer. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, dig in. This is the donut. <laughs> Looks like a donut. So we did street food tasting and tried some street food at the local deep here. It was delicious, a little bit spicy for us. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? fish market and then we're driving to the safari place where we'll be staying for the night and then tomorrow we're doing safari and on the way we'll be seeing a buddhist monastery hi i'm donald from sri lanka and uh, going to be the pack leader for noedo and for the next 11 days, actually, you guys will be traveling with me and I'll be able to finally know what to hear. So I'm going to show you some of the most important things and the beautiful places in the island. And I hope you guys will be in touch with the wheels. So see you very soon. Market to the retail market, also to the wholesale market, and they buy their stuff here because they're much cheaper when you buy it from the spot. But the dry fish, these fish to keep it for a longer time period, and then they distribute them among the island around the island into small stores as well. entrance over there up there is some of the remarkable creation of the Sri Lankan sculptures because once once we get there the two lions will be welcoming us from the from the boat side and especially here we got the mix of the Sinhala sculpturing and the Mathura okay. uh, that's a Indian Indian culture yeah so some of all these are features from the art that we can find from Sri Lanka it's a mixed up place so this is like a mid edge of the shifting capitals so this place is beautiful we get some pictures climbing all the way up it's pretty steep stairs looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right So we arrived to our accommodation here and 
it's a very cute, authentic guest house. They have these two really cute puppies. And tomorrow we're going for the safari. Around 6 a.m. we're gonna have dinner here in the hotel. So what's great about these guest houses is they are pretty basic, but they have air con, they have water, they have amazing food, and they're basic, but they pretty much have everything that you might need from an accommodation. So it's a great experience staying here at somewhere local, somewhere really authentic. So this is the rope of the month, which means the highest among every everyone. About everyone, they are they're getting respected by anyone. So that's why this is Buddhism. This is Buddhism as well. Good morning. It's Safari day. It is 5:45 a.m. and we have just woken up. We're gonna go for a morning safari, hopefully see some leopards and other animals. So excited, I've got my big lens, hopefully I can use it and get some amazing shots. monkeys and really fun birds as well it was really cool and such a unique experience and then um, we wanted to see a leopard but unfortunately they were hiding from us other people got to see them on, on other cars but we didn't um, but now we're just gonna chill a little and then have lunch <laughs> just in the town nearby and then just relax in the evening so tomorrow we're heading to Sigiriya and we're gonna do the elephant experience I'm so excited and a hike as well so really looking forward to tomorrow
the one with the uh, No, John Carter is the movie actually. He's he's walking and he's finding a cave somewhere and he's finding a special sign and a symbol. So it's a movie, right? Okay. So he can teleport himself into Mars somewhere. So it was a special location that he found. So the same concept actually believed to be actually existed. Can you use to create DMT, dimethyltryptamine? Mm. It contain it contain little amount of DMT. Break the code, but still they couldn't do that. But there must be something, and even the astronauts, even the, the space communities, and the people who are doing the research about these things, that they know this place. here in Siguria and today we had such an amazing day so in the morning we headed out from our hotel and we had breakfast there and then we left um, on our way to come to Siguria. We had lunch um, in Siguria Hotel which was a super nice hotel um, just nearby where we're staying and we had lunch there enjoyed their pool it was super nice and then hiked up this mountain which overlooks Siguria Rock um, and the hike was actually super fun so adventurous and actually quite hard but so worth it for the view and we took some amazing drone shots now we're just relaxing and we'll probably go somewhere else for dinner this is the bedroom it's a lot of space of course the net around the bed to protect against mosquitoes and this is the bathroom and this is kind of the main sitting area upstairs and it's dark right now but I'm sure the views are amazing Good morning guys, we're waking up in Siguria today 
and the plan today was to do the hike to the Sigiri Rock and then to do the elephant experience but when we woke up unfortunately the Sigiri Rock was closed so we couldn't do it we slept in a little and just had breakfast it's about 11 o'clock um, but we just got the news that Sigiri Rock has opened again so we're gonna do that after the elephant experience this evening and the reason for this is because the country is under curfew, which is kind of like a lockdown. So the elephant experience where we washed the um, elephant and bathed with it, it was so cute and now Gonna have a drink, lunch, relax, and we're climbing Secure Air Rock later. To make that connection properly working, we need to remove the barriers. So you need to remove the rubbers, you need to remove but leather, I suggested uh, it's okay, leather soles, okay. it's working much better. So that's why we need to remove the shoes in these special places like temples because these okay. places highly uh, connected with this type of uh, geometric shapes and okay. uh, location. So. Character, 32 of these special characters that should be in a Buddha statue to make a statue a perfect one. The 10 feet long 
10 feet wide aura is a must for 100 percent zebra capacity reach person yeah but here it's a person begin this way and to this one later people started to make him put the statues and the other monks and the statue and they donated but nobody could identify which one is the buddha who's mm -hmm. buddha so the Gautama Buddha is the person who enlightened with the wisdom. So other other Buddhas also had the abilities and they could fly, they could show up different things. They may be like passenger, levitating and showing show different things. But he was the person who enlightened with the wisdom and he shared that knowledge to the other ordinary people so they could feel that ultimate goal of enlightenment too. So later the sculptures they wanted to show pat them on the head to show He's burning with knowledge, he's, he's full of knowledge. So that was a special symbol came to the Buddhist culture during 17th century. If we see something like that, that means it's been renovated and uh, there are things being added to the statue. It's saying it, there's a meaning behind it. We just cannot leave something on the table like, okay, this is for you. No, it should be offered in a way. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm a follower of you. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I came to this place, I came to look, look for you, to follow you because I respect you. And as I'm coming, I brought this flower as a present to okay, the temple. Yeah. But as this flower is dying from the moment I pluck it away from the tree, yeah. our lives are also dying. But if you see a blue water lily, that's the national flower of Sri Lanka. Well, but this is, uh, we need to open inside. We need to open this, and we need to fry it and open it to, to get the cashew nut. Now this is how it grows, and this is the only interesting fruit actually living in, in the world, having the seed outside of the fruit. But still, even if it is outside of the fruit, we need to work so hard to get this out. But. 320 meters above sea level, you can grow all the spices. The green color. The vanilla pod. Green powder. Powder. 100 oh, percent. It's such a good smell. No, no sugar. Oh. Aloe vera, jojoba, avocado, cocoa butter. You can roll it. <laughs> anti-stress for nervous breakdown and this is something like a Red Bull energy food <laughs> this one and the candy lane fishing is prohibited here and there's a beautiful viewpoint up there called after sea dinner had a chilled evening and now i'm going to bed and tomorrow we'll be exploring more of candy and the country has been in lockdown unfortunately the last few days because of the political situation and the protests that are happening at the moment so i'm not really sure what the situation is and if we'll be able to do everything we can but so far we've been quite lucky so fingers crossed that we'll be able to do everything So today we're exploring candy.
Yes, it is basically like many, many fibers. Yeah. We call it bottle gold. Okay. Good morning, so today we're checking out of Candy and going towards Ella and I hope we can get the train and if not we're gonna get it tomorrow or another day backwards from Ella so we'll still see the beautiful part that the train goes through. Ella 
and on the way we stopped in Little England to have lunch in a hotel there. It was pouring and raining so hard, um, unfortunately, but it was a really beautiful drive with the hills and we saw some waterfalls. And now we're in Ella, gonna go out for dinner. So today we're spending the day in Ella, walking around and hopefully getting the train. Um, it's, I don't know if it's running. <laughs> So unfortunately the train is not running um, but we're just gonna have a nice day still just walk around Ella and take some pictures in the town. which is the second largest waterfall in Sri Lanka and then after that we're gonna head towards our last destination, Unautuna. <laughs> another 20 minutes to the top and then there is a swimming spot there with natural spring water and then we'll see an amazing view from there as well
guys, so we've just arrived to our accommodation here in Unawatuna and we're not that close to the beach but it's about a 10-15 minute walk but it's a nice guest house it seems so far so um, we're gonna walk around and enjoy my last night here and see the town. So the wave come on this way and wash everything away to the other side. 